Start your engines. It's time for reviews. Reviews of Fast X. Who's seen Fast X this week? <laughs> Sadly, yeah, well, that's whatever. It's a movie, I didn't go last week, so looking forward to seeing a movie. I know I'm going into it, and I've told you guys, I don't hate watch. I don't hate watch, I just go in with super low expectations. And I'm going in with super low expectations, and I would like to walk out going, you know what? That was better than I thought. That was better than the last two, because the last two, no. 56%, oh, Oh, uh, good shot of Momoa right here. Apparently, people are loving Jason Momoa in this villain role. Critics' consensus. The irredeemably, uh, demon uh, the irredeemably silly, as it is satis uh, satisfyingly self-aware, Fast X should rev the engines of, uh, of longtime fans while leaving many newcomers in neutral. Nice one. So let's look at some of these uh, reviews right here. Okay, we got some critic reviews, top critics and mix of critics. Johnny right here from the New York Post. Another moronic fast film that plods along like 99 bottles of beer on the wall and features increasingly fake chases. Yeah, not a fan of the movies, I could see. The sweet, coarse sincerity that once made these films sing is gone. Replaced with jokes and stunts, that feel patched together from earlier, better franchises. Whoa! Say that about MCU movies, too? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah, the franchise was more fun as opposed to fun when it wasn't so in the j on, on the joke. So I guess, what, they're a little self-aware, a little meta when it comes to this one? Uh, letterer, the director, and Momoa bring an energy and excitement to Fast X that juices the engine to deliver the good that fans want. But the jumbled lore and odd treatment of characters may leave audiences with more questions than answers. So even though that's a positive one from Miss Katie Walsh, still kind of not. Even as it's uh, spinning through enjoyably, um, uh, enjoyably goofy action set pieces, most of them enlivened uh, greatly by a fun performance from Jason Momoa. Again, people are praising Jason Momoa, which is good. There's a desperate familiarity uh, to uh, all of Fast X. No question this franchise is silly, but having one character constantly ridiculing the others and making mockery of everything feels maybe a little too on the nose. Tell me that's Tyrese, right? That's freaking Tyrese. The most annoying character in the whole franchise. Remember when they introduced him and he was more like the Dominic Toretto character because Vin Diesel didn't want to do the sequel, so they got somebody else and they got Tyrese, who was like this other character. And now he just does nothing but mock and yell and say, Oh my God, oh my God. He just screams all the time. By now, the Fast franchise is so self aware of how big, bombastic, dumb, and brainless it is, it rides it out with a vengeance. Just when you think they can't top themselves, Fast X over delivers in every possible way. It's a blast! They went to space last freaking movie out. What the hell can they? All right. Fast X is a pileup of characters fighting to stand out and less spectacular action that feels more like marketing for future installments than a complete feature. Yeesh. What really makes Fast X is the thoroughly entertaining is the performance of Jason Momoa. The Aquaman star is having an absolute ball playing the uh, dastardly villain Dante. So they keep on talking about, they keep on talking about Jason Momoa, which is great because I we all love Jason Momoa, right? And I'm I'm glad that that's happening. That 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 at least his performance as a villain, because we don't normally see that. We don't nor normally see him as a villain type role. But obviously we know that he could probably play when you see his mean face. His mean face will make, you know, they make people shit themselves and piss themselves. So when it comes to box office projections, apparently, uh, you know, I don't think this movie is actually going to make as much as the last movie. I think because the, the last movie came out when the pandemic was all everything. I mean, it just it feels like it was so long ago. But, yeah, the pandemic was happening. And, I, you know, I think it was it still it people wanted to go to the movies so it did make a lot i don't think this one's going to make as much but right now it's eyeing a 58 million dollar plus domestic debut and then overall it's looking like just to be under 300 million when it comes to worldwide i know it's already gotten i think in china it's right there at least in china i think it was that it's already made like 18.4 so it's already released in china um so 
it's going to have a good box office run. It's going to do well. It's going to be interesting to see the drop off like I was talking about on Monday's show. I was like the drop off of Guardians of the Galaxy since it had a small drop off from weekend to weekend. I wonder what the drop off is going to be with this. And then I'm just, yeah, kind of curious to see what Fast X does. And then we'll see what that drop off is. But remember, guys, we're getting not one more movie, but two more movies. <laughs> so is Jason Momoa's character, like, if he doesn't die, does he just end up being part of the crew and then they take on some? Because that seems to be what happens, right? They, there's a villain and then the villain ends up being having a connection and then something happens at the end where they, they join, you know, they become family. And then, I don't know. I guess we'll see. No spoilers. No spoilers. 